Hello everybody, welcome back. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today is Snail Mail Sunday, and I got some eBay pickups I'm gonna be opening up today. And then I got a couple of packs of um, 2020 Bowman um, Hobby Packs that I'm gonna be opening up. So hoping, hoping to hit something good in there. I'm just gonna show off some more of the stuff that I found in the uh, stuff that my stepdad gave me. So started with this first uh, package here. It's a Devontae Parker from Select. This is the uh, tri-colored from 2017. I love the looks of that. I actually ordered another tri-color that should be here next week. Really nice, looks even better than it did on eBay. So that's always nice. It's number um, 147 of 199. So really happy for that with that purchase. Picked up for, I think like three bucks or something. Up there. Now these, these are for the optic set. I got some cards that I uh, was very excited about. Saving the best one for last. Got my first Packers. It's a green Aaron Jones out of 27. Green Pulsar. The tape's getting stuck to my fingers. Pull it out of here. Really nice looking card. Number 19 of 27. Got this one for a pretty good price. Wanted to auction, I think, for like 13 bucks. So I thought like I did pretty good with that pickup. Next one. is a green Sam Darnold. Number 11 of 27, another green Pulsar. Got this one for um, pretty cheap. Like I think, I think I paid 15 for this one. So it wasn't bad, especially for a quarterback. I was really, I was really, I was really excited to get this one. I've been um, Sam Darnold's kind of one of those quarterbacks I like getting just because um, kind of fits, could possibly fit into that failed quarterback category that I like uh, collecting. And um, still early in his career, um, could turn it around, but so far he's not off to a great start. I imagine this will probably be his uh, true. Uh, you're to really test him. And if he doesn't do good this year, I imagine they'll they might they'll probably be looking elsewhere. Um, but really happy to pull this one or not pull this one, um, get this one. The last one is the one I'm really excited about. It was um, a while back. Um, Ian at If Sports Cards when he did his uh, 500 subscriber giveaway, he uh, asked the question of if you could. Uh, purchase any card if fifty dollars appeared in your PayPal account and you could purchase any card with it, what card would it be? And even though I didn't win that competition, um I picked up one of those cards of, that I listed off. That is a green Aaron Rodgers. Get that off of there. There's a Little return thing if once I apparently once this is broken it can't be returned which I'm not planning on returning it anyway but it's kind of a crappy thing to put on there blue painters tape people here we go okay I thought they didn't put it put it in a penny sleeve at first now that's a beautiful card now this thing popped up it was at auction and I watched this thing and I 
it's the first green I've seen pop up at all. And uh, so I knew I had to get it. And um, so I put in my max bid and end up winning it for um, 30 bucks. So, which isn't bad for this at all. I, I th honestly thought it was gonna be I to go higher. I think I had a max bid of 45 in and got it for 30. And which for this set is tied for second for the most I've spent on a card. Most expensive is this Patrick Mahomes. I picked that one up for 50. And this is the card it's tied with, this Carson Wentz. And paid 30 for that one also. And, uh, but they're both short, super short prints out of 27. And that one is about average, goes between about, goes between 30 to $40 for the Carson Wentz. This one, I just feel like I got it at a steal. And so super excited to pull this one. I can't remember if I said it or not, but number 13 to 27. So super excited to pull that one. Probably put in a different top loader so it has that sticky stuff on it. But yeah, couldn't believe it got an Aaron Rodgers. I was really happy about that one. So I'm gonna rip into these hobby packs now. Pick these up at my local LCS, um, Casey's Finest Sports Cards. And hoping to pull something good out, um, out of here, possibly, hopefully an auto or something. That would be awesome. Um, got a Sheldon Noose. Mike Trout, not bad at all. Also hoping to get a um, Jason Dominguez or a, um, what's his name? Um, the Royal, Cole Witt Jr. <laughs> Almost forgot the main guy. I oh, not main guy, but the guy from the Royals. Um, so I haven't pulled them. Have, I haven't got a, to rip a whole lot of this series. Um, found a quite a bit of it when it first came out, but haven't found any since. And so, so I pick up some hobby packs. Is I really like opening Bowman. Got a um, top 100 of Jared Clinic. Hunter Green. Franklin Perez. Shane Baz. A Chrome of Drew Mendoza. And Isaac um, Perez. I don't know. It's Perez. Luis Robert. Nice. Robert. Ro Luis Robert. <laughs> and an Austin Nola rookie card. It's an okay first pack. Um, the Robert and Trout were definitely the best two out of that pack. On the pack number two. Hopefully we can get something good out of here. Got our, um, Robo Garcia. A Tops 100 of um, Nate um, Pearson. Actually, this is a gold, 26 out of 50. I think that's a gold. Got a Gavin Lux. Top 100. Um, Joe Adele. Gus Varland. Mackenzie Gore. Our Chromes are Lewis Gill. And Glen Allen Hill Jr. And a um, Paul DeYoung. And a Kevin Biggio. So not bad on the hobby packs. The Robert's... The Robert, I don't know, Robert, I don't know why I keep saying Robert. The <laughs> Robert's probably the best in the, uh, the gold uh, out of 50, as I almost drop it. Um, Nate Pearson's pretty cool. I'll prop that up back there, too. Get these organized real quick. Yeah, I love rope. I love opening Bowman and uh, ripping it. Um, I found a two mega boxes when it first came out and I came across some uh, blaster boxes once at Walmart and passed on them for some reason. And it was still close when they first came out and I haven't come across any since. And I've, I've really enjoyed opening it. Um, so I was slightly like pick up in hobby packs and try my luck at that. Um, so I'm just gonna show some of the stuff, that, um, of the other stuff I've come across and the stuff my uh, stepdad gave me couple things I thought were kind of neat. Um, a Royals ticket from 19, June 3rd, 1992. Not sure who they played. Um, doesn't say on there. 
But then also a Chiefs ticket um, when they played the Los Angeles Raiders on um, September 17th, 95. So just something kind of cool. Then um, got this 1991 Fleer All-Stars of Ryan Sandberg. A John Smoltz rookie card. A mini um, Robin Yunt. Yunt. Um, this came out of a Cracker Jack box. I just thought that was kind of cool. David uh, David Justice rookie. Um, Louis Louis Aquino for the uh, Royals pitcher. It's a 91, 1990 Donruss. These, I thought they were kind of cool. They came out of a Hostess pack. Um, just some random cards from 93. Got Brian McRae, Frank Thomas, Ryan Sandberg, Carlos uh, Bar Barriga, Cecil Fielder, and Dennis e Eckersley. Yeah, those all. So the back have the... Uh, um, Hostess Baseball on it, so that's pretty cool. There's 30, 32 cards in that set. So it's kind of neat. This here, it's a um, um, Lou Gehrig a Memorial card. Just thought that was kind of neat. Out of 92 score. Got a Charlie, Bur Charlie LeBrant, 1990 Fleer um, Royals pitcher. A Joel Johnston, um, rookie prospect, relief pitcher um, from 92 score. Um, Pat um, Tabler out of 89 tops. Mark um, Kubiksa out of, I think, 92. Yeah, 92 tops. Kind of some more 92 tops. Mike um, Broderick, Hale McRae, uh, manager. Kevin Appier, Appier, Brian McRae, Kevin Seitzer, got a um, Bob ha Hamlin out of 1989, I believe, oh, 1990 Bowman, and a Bob Boone out of 90 Bowman, Kirk Stillwell, a 91 score, a Brian McRae out of 91 Fleer, Uh, this is, I think this is 90, no, not 90, uh, 1981 Tops, a uh, Hal McRae, and the Coca-Cola, um, I guess there was a, there's packs that, um, Coca-Cola put out the, for cards, and a Hal McRae that came out of that, and a Larry, um, Gura that came out of the Coke pack, a 1982 Larry Gura, love the looks of the 82 Tops, really nice looking cards, how do you, this, what year's this? 1989 um, score of Ted Power. The rest of these are Chiefs cards. Joe Montana, uh, 95 Prime Playoff. Uh, Willie Davis, Marcus Allen, Blake Dawson, Greg Hill, Neil Smith, Steve Bono, a Tim Bar Bar Barnett out of, uh, I think, 96... Oh, 94 um, Pacific. And a Albert Lewis out of 91 Pinnacle. So that's all the stuff I've come across this last time, um, this last week in those cards. And still having lots of fun going through them. And um, mostly Chiefs and Royals in that. A few good rookies and other unique cards. Um, anxious to see what else I come across. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure you do that and um leave a comment down below i love communicating with everybody getting to know everybody and it's a great community i just have so much fun getting to know everybody um so make sure you leave a comment down below my next video is going to be tuesday i'm not sure what i'm going to be doing yet to be honest um i've ordered uh i ordered some 2020 donruss elite from walmart um, if that's in, if that comes in in time, um, I'll do that. If not, I'm not honestly not really sure what I'm going to do because uh, I have some other football stuff. But I'm saving it for the fantasy YouTuber fantasy football league that I'm in. 
and um, not wanting to rip into any of that quite yet. Um, I do have, um, I mentioned in my last video how I'm going to um, start doing like some once a month specials and, and think about doing the uh, vin um, opening random vintage cards and I might do that um, just have a and replace um, touchdown Tuesday just this week with that if I don't if those cards don't come in uh, but we'll see and so whatever it is it'll be fun so make sure you tune into it tune in for it and so everyone take care have a great rest of your day stay healthy and until next time later